A lot of people want to know what kind of final coat to put on their painting. Here's what I use. This is Minwax Polycrylic Protective Finish. We refer to it as a varnish, but it's not listed as such. They call it a protective finish. I'm not sure why. But this is a hardware store item, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace, wherever you find your paint section, this you'll find it there. And you want to make sure you really stir this. This is a brand new uh, quart that I opened, but I stir it every time because if you don't, it seems to separate over time. So spend a little time stirring it before you use it every time. And I use a paintbrush, inexpensive nylon bristles. And I'm going to coat this painting. Um, what I want to show you is I use some different brands of paint on this painting. So the shininess varies. Some of it's a little shinier. Over here it's a little more dull. This black is dull. So this is a good area to show you what the difference is when you put a coat of this on. Show you that right there. Hopefully you can see it where the black is. It's a little blacker. It's it looks like the painting's wet again. And if you can't see it, well, you'll just have to take my word for it. But people ask um, about the coating process. It's pretty simple. I just go in one direction. A relatively thin coat. It goes pretty fast. And it looks better already. I like it. It has a slight odor. Some people are sensitive to odors. I've had some questions about that. Just a slight odor. It's uh, nothing bad in my opinion, but it doesn't it doesn't uh, make much of an odor. It's not like it's going to run you out of the room or anything. So there's a coat. It dries pretty quick. The label says to wait two hours before you put another coat on, but I don't usually wait that long. I usually need probably two coats because it seems like it always ends up there's some areas that are a little thinner than others. You won't get any bubbles or anything. I, I really think you're going to like this. Now I buy it a quart at a time because I have bought gallons before and if you have it too long, say longer than a few months, it tends to get heavy and thicker and even when you get to the bottom it seems like the glossy is a little less glossy. So I have resorted to just using it a quarter at a time. It stays really fresh. And this, you know, in, in, if you use this up in a couple months, you're totally fine. Uh, what else do I need to tell you? Wash your brush out really good. This is harder to wash out than, than paint. Um, because if you let it dry, you're just, your brush is, is history. But anyway, this comes in satin semi-gloss and gloss. I use the gloss, but remember, um, the glossier something it is, the more reflective it is, you may end up liking a semi-gloss. It's just a little less shiny than the gloss. But I think you'll be really happy with this. It's um, It leaves a beautiful finish. It's easy to find at the hardware store. There's the first coat. Coat the sides. If you have a, if you're using a canvas or a thicker board, coat the sides. Keep it all even. So there it is, Minwax Polycrylic. We'll see you next time.